Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints, on this uh, chilly, chilly Thursday morning. Uh, you can hear that snow just crunching under my feet because it's cold. The snow came down when it was a little bit mild, so I suspect it came down almost slushy. But it has crisped up a lot. It is cold, cold. Minus 13 when I just checked it. Feels like minus 17 or minus 18. So back to cold. And yet Sunday is supposed to be a plus 12. Figure that out, eh? That's going to be cool. Well, that's going to be warm. <laughs> yeah, our English language. Funny, isn't it? Alrighty. But this sunshine is gorgeous. Look at those shadow lines, eh? Just pretty as all get out. So pretty. You know what? I'm just going to stop here again. I know that field ahead of me is full of ice. Full of ice. So I'm just going to stay right here. Well, I'm going to go back to Psalm 27. I was uh, in there yesterday and uh, I followed my own good advice and read the whole psalm. I did yesterday as well and uh, just there's another verse that really jumped out at me. Um, don't you love reading the Word of God? It just keeps, uh, it's alive. It's alive. <laughs> uh, you could read it a hundred times and, uh, you know, just different times, different things. Um, Spirit of the Lord is, is at work. He knows where you're at. He knows what you need. He knows what you need going forward. Uh, he wants to direct you. He wants to prod you, push you. Uh, he wants to correct you. So uh, these words are, uh, the Word of God is just incredibly powerful. So let me read the text and then I'll tell you where, where it's coming from in my life. All right. So this is verse uh, 8. Uh, can we see it? Maybe I need to turn away. No. I'm having a hard time today because of the... Uh, hmm. Kind of there? Maybe there? Maybe. Maybe. All right. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Now, if you've read the rest of the psalm, please do. It talks about you know, going through hard times and enemies opposing you and looking for direction and all of that. I have really, with this verse, been convicted that as much as I'm looking for God's direction, as much as I'm looking for God's blessing, as much as I'm looking for, uh, you know, what can I do, Lord, to serve you better? So much about the do, do, do. So much about the, the you know, like, I got to, I need to know. There's this verse right in there in the middle of it that just says, you know what, Mark? One thing you need to do is to just get with God. Don't worry about the mission. I'm not saying ignore the mission. I'm saying don't forget to spend time with the Lord just because He is your Lord and Savior. If I could maybe illustrate this uh, out of marriage. You know, it's wonderful to you know, go hiking together, to do dishes together, to uh, go fishing together as a couple, right? I mean, there's all sorts of things you can do that's just wonderful. Hop on the motorbike and go for a ride, and, you know. Yeah, I'm giving you all the illustrations of what Dawn and I do together sometimes. And that's great. But sometimes, what your relationship needs more than anything else is just for the two of you just to be together and just to enjoy each other's presence just to breathe the same air and just just be there with each other. Just listen to each other's heartbeat. Friends, you need, I need, 
time with the Lord where we're not asking for anything. We're not, you know, looking for direction. We're not looking for, you know, the mission. We're not looking for help. We're not looking for his provision in our lives. We're not, no, just, just seek his face. That means just get in his presence and just enjoy his presence. Just enjoy his presence. He's as close as the mention of his name. So take some time. It'll probably be quiet time. But just enjoy the Lord's presence. Make it a point, would you? To seek his face. Father, help me. And all of my striving and all of my doing and all of my wanting... also just simply enjoy your presence enjoy being face to face with you oh God I know those are precious and treasured times help me to remember that and to set aside time today and in the days ahead, Lord, just to enjoy your presence without an agenda. Oh, God, thank you for the privilege, incredible privilege, oh, God, to be able to enjoy your presence, to be able to walk with you, to talk with you, to know that you are my God and I am your child. You're amazing, Lord. I love you. I pray all these things with a whole ton of thanksgiving. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. Have yourself a fantastic day. Seriously, have a great day today. In the presence of the Lord. Amen.